welcome, I'm Jordan Short and this is The Bite. First off, Merry Christmas. We made it through yet another semester at Reed's and while it might not have been as crazy as some others, it was nice to go back to normal life after the pandemic. First off are some amazing victories of RSHS. The wrestling team beat both McDonald County 45-27 and Hillcrest 51-24. Among the victors were Shane Pearson, Ashton Plumley, Easton Byrne, Trace Haddock, Evan Wilson, Sebastian McCod, Josh Lowe, Evan Crane, Kirsten Allen, and Lexi Harris. The cheerleaders went to state in Cape Girardeau and brought back fourth place. And in the girls' home basketball game against Crane, Jade Watson had two major achievements. The first being that she scored her 1,000th point and she broke the record for rebounds in a single game with 20 rebounds. Way to go, Jade. The boys basketball team, however, experienced a bit of a scare at the game against Clever when a tornado came through. They have rescheduled the game to Thursday, December 16th. We also want to take a moment to recognize junior clarinetist Madeline Irv Irvin. Madeline has been placed in first chair for Missouri's All-State Band. She auditioned against 280 of the state's best musicians for the spot. This is Madeline's second year in the All-State Band. She's also a three-time All-District Band member, being 10th chair as a sophomore, and she's also been a member of the District Choir, All-District Choir twice, and has performed with the Springfield Youth Symphony and the Missouri State University Youth Win Ensemble. We couldn't be more proud of you. Congratulations, Maddie. Oh, and we look forward to her performance on January 29th at the Tantara Resort. The November students of the month were Luke Brown, Brianna Ryling, Austin Herzon, and Aubrey Davis. Congrats to you all. Today was the last day of school before Christmas break. We will be returning to school and starting a new semester on January 4th, so don't be late. We also want to remind students that the last day to sign up for the February ACT is January 7th. This is a great opportunity for both juniors and sophomores to work on their college search. Student Council also wants to say thank you to Kay's Coffee, who partnered with them to bring a de-stressing fundraiser to our school. During finals, Kay came to the school and sold coffee, donating 50% of the proceeds to Student Council. Thank you so much for your support, and if any students need to get another coffee kick, Kay's is located next to Tequila's Mexican Restaurant and is open Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Finally, we want to wish good luck to both the academic team and the speech and debate team who will hit the ground running when they return from Christmas break with tournaments on January 10th and 8th respectively. And now to our featured interview with Mr. Kessinger. Hi, I'm Andy Kruger. Welcome back to The Bite. Today I have Mr. Kessinger, head of our food drive and all of our little charity stuff that we do here. So how long have we been doing this food drive? Uh, the food drive itself has been done for about 13 years, and then I've been a part of it as like an organizer, help within the within the district for about five years. Uh, you also do Miracle on Wolf Line, is that correct? Yes. Uh, can you give me like a summary of that, basically what all that is? Yeah. So six years ago, we started Cornerstone, which is our leadership class, and that class, one of the big tenets is community service and community focus based service and learning. And so they wanted to put together a family holiday Christmas event that was completely free and was just meant for families to spend time together. Because holidays are already stressful, you know, we have a high percent of families who are um, single families or one income or no income. And so the, the holidays are already stressful and then there's pressure to buy things and kind of get into the commercialism of Christmas and we wanted to try to get rid of that. So they started it and they called local businesses and asked for donations. They planned the event um, as far as like what the activities were and then they set it up and organized it and ran it. And we started that six years ago and every year the, the Cornerstone or YEP clubs um, have run that each year. So uh, uh, Food Drive and Miracle Home Plan, how many families did you say that support each year? Um, it varies a little bit. With the Food Drive, the reach has been, like this year we packed 65 families. Um, it's been as low as about 55 and has been as high as 115. Um, Miracle Wolf Lane, we had about 100, and almost 150 people attend uh, the event last Saturday. So, uh, how can people still help? Uh, is this stuff still going on? Can people still donate? 
So we, the food drive, everything that's left over, we put in what's called Carl's Closet. And it's a pantry that has food, it's got hygiene products, it's got clothing that's been donated, it's got shoes that's been donated. Um, any of those items, food, clothing, hygiene products, those things can always be donated to the high school and then we'll go into that pantry and then families in our district, if they have a kid who goes to our school, um, they can access the pantry twice a month. So any of those kind of donations are always accepted. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. And uh, just one final question. We always ask someone, what is your message to the school in general? What is my message to the school in general? I was trying to think about this. School uh, viewers at home and beyond. All that shows. Okay. Uh, I think my message is don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Hold on to that feeling. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, and uh, hey, we'll get you. back to Jordan. All right. Thank you all for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. This is Jordan Short, and I will see you in the next semester on The Bite. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! And Happy Holidays. Aw, thanks, Nathan. You're welcome. <laughs>